For anybody that I promise those backstage passes, it, it ain't no backstage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I just need y'all to come out here and make me look good, man. I, How's it going, America? I'm James Bliley, and welcome to the first ever episode of our vlog series. We're gonna introduce you to some weird and wild people, and uh, we're just, we're here. You're the only weird one, James. You're the uh, only weird one. Oh, Go iron your shirt. Hi, <laughs> you came to see me. I'm Charlie Jr. Yes, I am the Facebook dude. Wear your socks. I was washing clothes, shoe, and, and somebody stole my socks out of the dryer. Yes, I'm the dude that does the videos, but right now, I'm in here. And I'm in Key West, Florida. I want to go outside. I don't know why I'm in here. I want to go. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Outside in the open. Key West, baby. I ain't finna be cooped up in no hotel room. But like I said, man, this is Key West. You wonder why I'm here? It's because the Navy brought me here. Yes, I'm in the military, but I do comedy on the side. But with that being said, I do get free time. If you want to get better as a comedian, you have to hit the stage every time you get a chance. That's why I've been in the military. I've been so many places. California had a show, um, San Diego, did a show, that's the same. I've been to California, because <laughs> I've been to Detroit, I've been to Memphis, California. Every time I got a chance to hit the stage, I hit the stage, and each time I went there, I networked, I met another comedian who liked what I did, I met another comedian who liked what I did. That's how you grow as a comedian, you have to network, man. It's all about hard work. I don't feel comfortable like around loose roosters. I, they need to be on a leash or something. Uh-uh. Like I like Key West, but uh, all right. So it was crazy because you know I started doing the social media videos and stuff like that, and I just wanted more. And then I started people saying that, seeing people saying that you know you can't be social media funny and funny on stage. To me, that was a challenge. So. I started getting on stage. <laughs> I remember my first open mic. Terrible, I wanted to quit. <laughs> I wanted to quit. This so happened, one of my buddies from high school, he was a comedian back in my hometown, and he was like, you can't stop, man, it's your first time on stage. Everyone's not gonna be funny their first time on stage, so. And I just don't see myself failing in something that I feel like I have a calling for. If I make it to where I wanna make it in this comedy game, like, it all goes to her. Mrs. Shima Franklin, like, She's been such a big supporter and a big push on my comedy game, man. Like, you need your mentor. And she's the one that tell me, hey, you need, a, you need to get your butt up. You need to write. You need to get on stage. You need to get in front of people. Like, she has pretty much gave me the blueprint, just pushing me toward being a better comedian. Yeah, so we down here at the waterfront area, man, and probably about like an hour and a half until the show, and really just enjoying myself, and it's cool because down here, like, you really see where raw entertainment comes from, man, like. And this is crazy because, like, a lot of people ask me where I get my material from, how do I entertain, and honestly, man, I get my material from life. It's crazy, like, my material comes from my son. You know, he's hilarious, you know, being a father, you know, and being a sailor and just generating all that, putting it together, man, it's just, ah. It's crazy because like, when I first started doing comedy, I didn't know where to grab material from. I was just, uh, okay, grabbing, 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 grabbing. And like, um, comedian Shay Clemens, he's from my hometown, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, he was like, hey, you know, you're good on stage, but stop reaching for material, use your life. He was like, you're in the military. You're a single parent, a um, single father. You know, use that or whatever. Use your relationship with your son's mom. Like, how do y'all get along? He was like, use that. All that's raw material that people can relate to. From anyway, man, y'all, uh, I'm getting too emotional, man, and getting too deep, man. Um, I got a show in a few minutes, and I, I need to turn up, man. Charlie Jr., hashtag I'm running. You already know the slogan. I'm out of here. I got a show to get to, man. I don't have time. Yeah. 
I always want to show respect to, you know, the person who put you on. So I like to fit in, speak to him. Hey! What's going on, Joe? How are you? What's going on, my brother? Good to see you. Back again. Thank you for having me back. This is Joe. This who gave me a chance to do it. Put me on. Like I say, but what, been about a year since first time Yeah, I've been there. doing it a year. Yeah, gave him a call and he kept true to his word and let me get on the show again. Hey, it was great when he started and he's gotten even better since. I'm trying to get it, man. I'm trying to get it, man. <laughs> same, or same time as last, uh, last week? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, fe yeah, the feature comedian tonight. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. so I'm ready Good to, to see it, you. Yeah, right. Thanks for coming. Yeah. All right, so now, you know, I'm outside the spot. Just met the owner of the spot. You know, normally before I get on stage, you know, I hit up my com uh, my comedy partner. A lot of people come to the comedy game with a partner. We kind of like bounce our material before we go on stage. What up, man? What up, fool? Really, I really don't know if I want to do the same set from last week because you know, you know, we bring like the same people all the time. So I don't know if I want to do the same set because on the last set, rock last week. You know, the opener with the whole Navy Seal thing, man. So I'm trying to see should I go back with that or just you know freestyle a little bit and just do some. Not new material, but something different. If you if you rock with the freestyle, if you hit it, mm -hmm. you can touch on the Navy Seal thing. Yeah. Quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, let me get off here though, man. Alright, bro. Hey man, go rock it, bro. Hey man, let me know how it go. Alright then, bro. So, so that's kind of like what I do, or whatever you know. You know, just to, because you always want to get second thoughts, you know what I'm saying? You want to hear somebody from the outside, you know what I'm saying? Just like to coach you a little bit. It kind of it kind of kills the nerves a little bit. It kind of reassures you, like, yeah, I'm good, you know, so that's that's one of the things I do. Come onto the stage, a YouTube sensation, viral videos on Facebook, and a proud member of our United States Navy. Put your hands together for Charlie Jr. <laughs> Who was there last week? Okay, cool. Y'all can hear the same. <laughs> Y'all don't like you to leave, come back. I'm not going to tell you to laugh different, so I'm going to tell you the same. No, man. No, for real, man, real talk. Uh, um, I'm the first actual Navy SEAL out of my family. Thank you. Thank you. I've been highly trained by the Navy to seal up any leak you may have. I, 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 I can take care of that. Just, just let me know whatever you need. You know what I mean? I can fix a flat, all that, man. I, highly trained, man. Highly. I do everything but my job. I sweep. <laughs> Thank you for your service. You don't know what I did today. <laughs> hey man, but I'm sorry to do it, man. Y'all follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, man. Appreciate y'all. Man, great show tonight. It was a packed house just like last week. Um, as soon as they called my name, you know, all the nerves dropped. And all in all, you know, they laughed. They had a good time. And that's the main thing, you know. Once you hear that real good roar, you're like, okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And, and like I say, man, y'all been with me all day. And it never stops, man. Like I say, I'm a father. I'm a sailor. Then I'm a comedian. My name is Charlie Jr. And you've been in the day of like me. And I'm tired. So I'm about to get ready to go get me some sleep because I got to get up and do it all the way again tomorrow. You know the slogan hashtag I'm running.